Hi all, in this video, we can discuss about abstract model in order 15. We know in order we have three different type of models, abstract model, transient model and models dot model. The abstract model will does not create any table in database and if we need to use a fe particular feature in different model like messaging in charter at that case we can use abstract model so first we can check how we can create a abstract model so for that i just created a basic module uh, called inherit basics inside this we can see the abstract model is created and I just provided the name as test.abstract and uh, the two fields name and the date and also I just created a model uh, the norm normal model models.model .model. inside this I just provided uh, the name field and date field so first we can go to the UI and check if the model is created or not for that I just enabled the de debug mode and I am going to the settings under the technical section we can see the models and we can search for the test dot model we can see the test dot model is created and the fields are date and name and next we can check the test dot abstract model is created you can see the test dot abstract model is also created and the fields are name and date next we can uh, check this models in pg admin so i am going to the pg admin from here we can see the database test and from here uh, i am just writing a query select star from test underscore model you can see the table of this test model no records is present so the table is created and next we can check the abstract model table is created or not abstract so we can see this error the relation test underscore abstract is does not exist that means that the ab test, abs test underscore abstract table is not created that means the abstract model will does not create any table in the database so we cannot save any data in this abstract model so next we can check how we can use the abstract model methods and fields in all model for that I just add this test to menu and inside this I just created a basic tree view and form view from here we can see the active boolean field and a name field so we can go to the pycharm from here we can see the model basic dot form and I just inherited this um, archive abstract mixing class it's a abstract model and inside this abstract model I just provided some fields name and archive this and then active boolean field and inside this we can see the archive this uh, method so we can uh, call this archive this method from this uh, normal model and we can also use this active boolean field in this um, model so we can see only the name field is only defined in this model and I just also defined a uh, button and inside the button function I just calling this function you can go to the view this is the button I just created and this is the field that come from the abstract model so we can check the functionality of this uh, button when i clicking the clicking on this um, archive button this record will be archived currently we can see the only one record is present 
I'm just clicking on this archive button. At that time, we can see the active boolean field is false. We can see the record is uh, archive. You can check that. We can see the all the archive record. And this is a simple example of the abstract model. So if we need to add this archive feature in all our model, so we don't want to rewrite this code in our all model. We just need to ex uh, inherit from inherit this model and just need to call the model. I hope you got the idea about this. Thank you.